<clears throat> Nasal high flow is the delivery of high flows of humidified air and sometimes oxygen through a comfortable nasal interface. There are a few key mechanisms associated with NHF. Reduction of dead space is unique to the therapy and perhaps the least understood. Dead space is the portion of a patient's breath that doesn't participate in gas exchange. Patients with acute or chronic conditions can have a much greater volume of dead space. On symmetric cannula, fresh gas mixes with expired gas in the upper airway and is then cleared. On asymmetric high flow, the unidirectional flow of gas means that the upper airway is cleared faster and more efficiently. Let's take a closer look at why this has such a significant physiological impact. For a patient on NHF, the constant flow reduces dead space and leads to less rebreathing of carbon dioxide. This reduction to anatomical dead space increases alveolar volume. Basically, more carbon dioxide cleared means more fresh gas is available to participate in gas exchange. Better gas exchange means that a patient needs fewer breaths to meet their ventilatory requirements. For your patient, this decreases respiratory rate, which lowers work of breathing. As respiratory rate decreases, there is more time for dead space clearance, creating a virtuous cycle. In this positive feedback loop, the effects compound with every single breath. Even a small reduction to dead space has a big impact on respiratory rate. Wherever you are, whoever you're treating, make your flow matter.